Now, I'm going to stop you from clapping because I want you to understand something. You have got to be healed of your inferiority complex. You've got to be healed of this. Even the world, the atheists, the people, the first responders, let's start with them. Even the first response, anyone who by occupation is touching human need in the New York, northern New Jersey area, any one of them sees that faith in Christ is the best thing that ever happened to anybody. They see it every day. They see what prayer does. They see what happens in a hospital room when an on-fire pastor versus a dead liberal one walks into a room. They bring light. They bring hope. They bring power. It's time for us to stop being ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is, it is, it is the power of God to everyone. Lord, look on their threats. Grant to your servants that with all boldness they may preach your word. By stretching out your hand to heal and that signs and wonders would be done in the name of your holy servant Jesus. Everything the demonic politicians told them not to do, they were praying for more of it. They said, shut up, give us more to say. Help us to say it more boldly. Don't pray for anyone. Don't do any miracle. God, spread it. Give us signs and wonders like never before. Anybody want that now? Anybody want that now? Well, by the third night, we had hundreds of people sitting outside. We had people being saved. And then my wife and I ended up at Starbucks meeting the mayor of Fresno, <laughs> who was a former chief of police. Yeah. And we went over there, sat with him, and we began to tell him what God was doing under the tent. This man knew Christ, I mean, I'm going to say he needed more of Christ, but I'll tell you, he knew Christ. And all of a sudden, there are tears in his eyes. And he says, I am so glad that you're in our city. And he said, do whatever you want, Mario. Just do it. Just go for it. So you see, we defied the devil. We didn't chicken out. We didn't back down. I followed the heavenly vision, and now in conclusion, that's precisely what we're going to do. I don't need you to support the tent. I need you to fanatically believe that you belong as a part of the army. I need you and you and you to join me as the willing volunteers you know what I'm going to do? In Batavia, New York, we personally transported 600 volunteers to those cities. Buffalo, Batavia, R Rochester. We're going to bring them in to this region. And when they come, they're going to, they're going to come early. In Batavia, New York, there was such a groundswell for the tent it was a larger tent than what we have in California. I was nervous because we had not done anything on the East Coast. We didn't know who knew us or who didn't. So here we are, and on the first day, the rain was raining for eight hours before the tent, rained all during the tent meeting, rained through the second night, never let up. And yet 4,000 people showed up in eastern New York in uh, western New York western New York and these people showed up with such a hunger that, that the greatest thing that I saw with my eyes 
were pastors who had served for 20 years, 30 years in that region, who never believed it was possible that people were hungry for God in their region. They didn't believe it. And they sat there sobbing, some of them, as hundreds, I'd say, come to Jesus, and the front would be filled, the aisles would be filled. Pretty soon, people wanting to be saved couldn't make it inside the tent. The line was too long. And they're standing in the rain waiting to be prayed for, to be born again. Western New Yorkers. Now, you see them every day, and you think you know the people of this community. You do not. You see their outward appearances. You may even think, oh, they're wealthy and arrogant. They got everything going on. But you don't understand the power of the Holy Spirit to suddenly break the facade of life, bring the house lights up, and make a person realize what really matters, that their marriages are messed up, their emotions are messed up, their life is messed up. Every song, I, I'm telling you, every song was speaking to this sermon tonight. And when we say Jesus over this region, it's not going to be like you think. Those pastors, after 30 years, some of them in the Batavia, in Rochester, in Buffalo, were sobbing because they couldn't believe that many people wanted Christ so desperately. And the same thing is true right here. Right here. I don't care if they're Catholic, Jewish, atheist. I don't care what they are. The power of the Holy Spirit is coming to your region and the fire of God has arrived in your region. Something big's going to happen. Clap your hands. Give him praise. 